Hello everyone. I am going to demonstrate you how to identify the different branches of brachial plexus in the category. We have usually learned the brachial plexus in traditional way that the brachial plexus is formed by ventral roots, ventral rami of the root C5 to T1. C5 and C6 unite to form the upper trunk. C7 continue as a middle trunk. C8 and T1 join to form the lower trunk. Each trunk divided into three divisions, anterior and posterior divisions. The anterior divisions of the upper and middle trunk unite to form the lateral cord. The anterior division of the lower trunk continue as the medial cord. That is the posterior division of all the three trunks continue. They join and form the posterior cord. But actually in the dissection, it's difficult to find the branches of brachial plexus in this way. So in the cadaver, first we find is a median nerve. The median nerve the median nerve is running in the front of arm. We have to trace the median nerve from above, from below above until we find its two roots. One is the lateral root of median nerve and other is the medial root of median nerve. This nerve is the median nerve. The median nerve is formed by lateral root of median nerve and medial root of median nerve. If we trace the lateral root, it comes from lateral cord of brachial plexus, whereas the medial root comes from the medial cord of brachial plexus. Trace the lateral root, lateral cord down. You can see another branch and that is musculocutaneous nerve. Musculocutaneous nerve pierces a muscle. There is a muscle which it pierces. This muscle is coracobrachialis muscle. Coracobrachialis muscle is pierced by musculocutaneous nerve which is coming from lateral cord of brachial plexus. Then trace the medial root of median nerve which is coming from the medial cord and trace the medial cord down you will find three nerves coming down from the medial cord the most important being the ulna nerve which is comparatively thicker Along with the ulna nerve, you will find medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and a thinner one which is medial cutaneous nerve of arm. So medial cutaneous nerve of arm, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and the ulna nerve. The medial cord also gives a branch which is the medial pectoral nerve. Medial pectoral nerve pierces pectoralis minor muscle, supplies it and goes to supply pectoralis major muscle. Likewise, there is a pectoral nerve given off from lateral cord which is the lateral pectoral nerve. The lateral pectoral nerve pierces clavipectoral fascia and goes to supply pectoralis major muscle. There is a communicating branch between medial pectoral and the lateral pectoral nerves. Between the two parts, we will find the axillary artery. This axillary artery. The axillary artery. Lateral to which lies the lateral cord, medial to which lies the medial cord. Behind the axillary artery, you will find there is a posterior cord of radial plexus. The posterior cord is situated behind or posterior to axillary artery, which gives in the upper part one nerve, which is the axillary nerve. This is the axillary nerve. And the main continuation of the posterior cord, you will find 
which is the thickest nerve of the posterior cord, and that is the radial nerve. So in the upper part, the posterior cord gives axillary nerve. It itself continues as the radial nerve, while on the medial side, it will give the other nerves, namely upper subscapular nerve, nerve to latissimus dorsi, which is thoracodorsal nerve, and lower subscapular nerves. So there are total five branches of posterior cord: axillary nerve, upper subscapular nerve, lower subscapular nerve, and nerve to latissimus dorsi. And the last one is the radial nerve. So in this way we can find and identify different branches of brachial plexus. Thank you. This is the dissection of axilla. This is the axilla situated between the chest wall and the upper arm in which you can see the brachial plexus this is the axillary artery and medial to axillary artery lies the axillary vein so this is axillary vein medially and this is the axillary artery laterally Around the second part of axillary artery are situated the three cords of brachial plexus, namely lateral cord, medial cord. The lateral cord is lateral to axillary artery, medial cord is medial to axillary artery, and behind the axillary artery lies the posterior cord this is the posterior cord to identify the different branches of the cords of brachial plexus we first identify the median nerve this is the median nerve in the arm trace the median nerve proximally we can see two roots of median nerve this is the lateral root of median nerve and this is the medial root of median nerve. Trace the roots one by one. The lateral root of median nerve comes from the lateral cord. This is the lateral cord. If we trace the lateral cord down, we can see another branch coming from lateral cord. This nerve pierces a muscle here, as you can see. So this muscle is coracobrachialis muscle, and the nerve piercing it is musculocutaneous nerve. So we can see the musculocutaneous nerve piercing coracobrachialis muscle which is coming from the lateral cord of brachial plexus. The third branch of lateral cord can be seen here, which is piercing the clavipectoral fascia and going to supply the pectoralis major muscle. This is pectoralis major muscle, beneath which this is the pectoralis minor muscle. So there are three branches of lateral cord, this is the lateral cord, so first is the lateral pectoral nerve which pierces the clavipectoral fascia and goes to supply pectoralis major muscle, second is the musculocutaneous nerve which is piercing coracobrachialis muscle here and the third one is the lateral root of median nerve. Now tracing the medial root of median nerve. This is the medial root of median nerve, which is coming from the medial cord. This is the medial cord of brachial plexus. As we can see, it is lying medial to 
the second part of axillary artery here. From this medial cord, we can see other three branches, namely ulnar nerve, which is the thickest and it is lying deep. Other one is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm, which is thinner, lying more superficial. And the third one is a medial cutaneous nerve of arm, which is medial to axillary vein. So we can see three branches here, coming from the medial cord. This is the ulnar nerve. This is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. And this is medial cutaneous nerve of arm. Also seen the last branch of medial cord is the medial pectoral nerve. This is the medial pectoral nerve. You can see it is piercing the pectoralis minor muscle. Supplies it. After piercing minor, it goes to supply pectoralis major muscle. So there are five branches of the medial cord. This is the medial cord. First is the medial root of median now. This is the medial root of median now. Second is the ulnar now. Third is medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. Fourth is medial cutaneous nerve of arm. And the last one here is the medial pectoral nerve. So with these branches, we can see classical M-shaped structure being formed by ulnar nerve, This is the ulnar nerve. Then there is a medial cord. Then there is a medial root of median nerve. Then this is the median nerve. This is the lateral root of median nerve. This is the lateral cord. And this is musculocutaneous nerve. So the M is thus formed by musculocutaneous nerve, lateral cord, lateral root of median is median nerve, is a medial root of median nerve, medial cord and this is the ulnar nerve. And between the two cords here we can see the axillary artery, this one is axillary artery. Behind the axillary artery, we can see the posterior cord. This is the posterior cord of brachial plexus, from which we can see this nerve arising, going laterally down. This is axillary nerve, this one here. This is the axillary nerve. And this nerve, which is the main continuation of posterior cord, is running down as we can see here. This is the radial nerve, which is posterior, running posterior to axillary and then the brachial artery. The other branches of posterior cord are is upper subscapular nerve which is supplying upper part of subscapularis muscle. This is subscapularis muscle. Let now to latissimus dorsi or thoracodorsal nerve going to supply this muscle which is latissimus dorsi muscle. This is latissimus dorsi which is winding around the teres major muscle here. Below this is the lower subscapular nerve which is supplying lower part of subscapularis and the teres major muscles. So total five branches of posterior cord. This is upper subscapular nerve. In the middle will be thoracodorsal nerve which is now to latissimus dorsi muscle. 
this muscle and this is lower subscapular nerve on this side axillary nerve and the main continuation of posterior cord is a radial nerve we can also see here the nerve to serratus anterior this is the nerve to serratus anterior this nerve which is supplying this muscle this muscle is the serratus anterior muscle we can see the digitations of the serratus anterior muscle along with nerve to serratus anterior we can also see the lateral thoracic artery and lateral thoracic vein the lateral thoracic artery is the branch of second part of axillary artery and this nerve to serratus anterior is also known as long thoracic nerve or nerve of bell so this is the serratus anterior this muscle is subscapularis this muscle is teres major which is wounded by the latissimus dorsi muscle thank you